So for the next chapter, matrix and vector. So over at the first slide here, okay, you need to identify the rows and column. Okay, the reason why you do so is to verify whether uh, it is possible for you to run the calculation or not at the first place. So A, B, C, D, and E, F will form three rows and then two columns which accommodate A, C, E, and B, D, F. Whereby for the next one, we have two rows, two columns. The two rows will be A, B, and then we have two columns which is A, C, and B, D. Okay, so over there, we have two examples. Okay, so A, B, C, D, and X, Y, Z, R, you are able to run the calculation because they are two rows and two columns. Okay, and the one at the center is the same. So your final results will be 2 times 2 matrix. So just take A multiplied by X plus B multiplied by Z. Repeat the same thing, A multiplied by Y plus B multiplied by R. Okay, for the one at the bottom, repeat the same. Then you will get your final results as shown over there. Okay. I also listed down where we have a 3 times 3 matrix at the side. You can just refer to it on what's the details of the calculation. Okay, so the other thing that was always being asked will be finding the determinant and magnitude. Okay, the magnitude will be specifically referring to the A over there. Okay, with the modulus function. So you just take A, D minus B, C, whereby for you to find determinant of A, which is also the A inverse, okay, you take 1 over magnitude of A bracket D negative B negative C A, okay, so this is the standard way to do it, okay, I have attached a couple of example over here, okay, it's for you to learn and pick up this topic okay so each slide i will put it about 10 seconds interval you can screenshot it glance through it okay and digest it slowly what's being asked the most will be matrix okay with the transformation involved so this is the list that you can actually screenshot and memorize it okay this will be very helpful for your examination. Moving on, we have a vector question here. Okay, x o equals to k and c o equals to j. So the direction of the, the symbol is very important. Okay, you need to follow it truly because going the other way around will add negative into it. A is a midpoint of line XO and BZ to OZ is 1 to 3. Hence, BZ is actually 1 over 3 of OZ and OB is 2 over 3 of OZ. So for the first question here, we have finding XZ. So for us to get there, you have to map out the point that we go through x o plus o c equals to k plus bracket negative j why is it negative j because the stuff that we have is actually j where is z to o however we have switched the direction of it from o to z hence it will become negative j for the second question we have vector position of A. It is actually from origin to A itself. Since they mentioned A is the midpoint, hence it will be half of K. XA will be half K, AO will be half K. However, they are referring to OA, hence you are required to add a negative into it. So your OA will be negative half K. 
for the third question we have xb okay so for us to get to xb it will go to point xo and ob xo is k and ob is actually 2 over 3 of oz so it will be k plus 2 over 3 times negative j so your final answer k minus 2 over 3 j For the next one, we have finding the ZA. So ZA will be evolving around ZO plus OA. It will be J plus half bracket negative K. So your final answer, J minus 1 over 2 K.